consecutive days of happy memorable wedding events. We are now heading to Dhaka Airport to fly back to Japan via Hong Kong. On the way to Karen Dhaka Airport's terminal, we can see new terminal which is under construction and set for a soft launch in October this year. It will be fully operational by the end of next year. So I'm really looking forward to experience this exciting new terminal. Yeah, I sorted the pastry. You can tell me what they are because they all say, or they say assorted. The top ones are chop chop, and the lower ones are sugar nut. Let me take chop chop. I already had a two at the home, but. <laughs> Those are not enough, <laughs> right? Shosha? Uh, Shosha. Maybe a yogurt? You can try maybe if you, if you want. This is the uh, plain rice, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. I think. Yeah, you can try plain rice. Because for long you have to try, right? Mm -hmm. You like? Mm -hmm. you like? Spin case also you can try. I mean, if you want. Beef curry? Mm -hmm. yeah, beef, uh, no, no beef curry. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can judge whether the tartar sauce is really tartar sauce. Tartar sauce looks good. The taste from tartar Finished beef calabana, cucumber salad, 
and what else? Yeah, and ch chicken salad. Uh, ch no, 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 chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich tasted like sitch tuna. Japanese tuna mayo. What the fuck? How was the beef kalagmi? Was it spicy? Not, not very spicy, but it was moderately spicy. But it's manageable. How was the pulao? Pulao is a bit flavorful. Yes, thank you. This I got. I am still full from the wedding ceremonies. Food. So let me try it just for you guys' sake. Oh, so sorry, but... you don't be Alohan. Okay. So this uh, beef uh, kalabuna and uh, pulao. So it's been a long time since I tried uh, beef kalabuna, but I know the taste of beef kalabuna. So let's verify it. So it's not actually beef kalabuna, they have written it beef kalabuna, but it's just beef curry. I mean, honestly speaking, beef kalabuna has to be like really blackish kind of thing. So, yeah, it's not even guna, it's a very gravy kind of thing. But the taste is very good. That's all matters. <laughs> okay. And yeah. yeah. And let me go to the chicken. How is the chicken? What, what was the name of the chicken? Barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken. Okay. Let me try with the Bangladeshi rice. Not pulao rice. Just the skin. Room. Just white rice. Okay, it's very sweet, but the barbecueness is there. I mean, the smell. I mean, it's kind of sweet. Sweetness is there. It's good, but I would rate like seven out of ten for me. But the beef is like eight out of ten. Enjoy. So the food was good. I didn't expect this good. But it was very good. The spiciness was adjusted based on foreigners' taste bud as well. No, it, it is required because it is very very essential because uh, it's an international lunch, right? So yeah, they have to they have to manage. I mean this interior lunch is also good the interior. I'm not sure about the food quality. Yeah. So next time, maybe I make we can. Fifteen. Yeah, it's like the same. Kind of thing arrangement. This is steamed halibut with preserved lemon sauce my mom ordered. Actually, our flight departure was 2 a.m. Ronnie and I were too sleepy, so we decided to skip supper and get some sleep. Actually, we will be laughing soon, so not so much time left. How was the flight? Not so good. Most of the time, like half of the flight, two hours, I was sleeping. It's too Yep. Nice. Seat. I was also sleeping the whole flight. <laughs> 